Okay, as of today, December 22nd, 2019, this is how the uh, instrument panel in the cockpit appears. Along the top edge is a push-button switch panel, which basically controls all the lighting. Uh, strobe lights, position lights, taxi lights, things like that. Uh, there's also a couple of buttons on the right edge for the uh, boost pumps at uh, two fuel pumps, dual fuel systems in fact. And the, uh, the illuminated button to the far left is the uh, switch that controls the master relay that uh, turns all the power on and off to the airplane. So that real bright screen in the center is a Dynon HDX 1100 display. Let's see if we can get it to appreciate that a little bit. That's a little better. Anyway, um, <laughs> it doesn't like that bright screen. The uh, air vents are in the top left and right corners of the instrument panel. Uh, below the left one, there is a rocker switch that turns off either the left ignition system or the right ignition system on the engine to allow you to test and make sure both ignition systems work before you take off and below that a key switch. Uh, along the far right edge uh, below the uh, air vent there that round black object is a uh, there's a cover there underneath that a dual uh, USB port for using an iPad or phone, charging your phone, things like that. To the left of the display are two modules that are new additions. The upper one is the autopilot control panel and the lower one is a auxiliary knob panel using uh, going through menus and things like that to get to certain functions. It allows uh, manually setting the altimeter, not the altimeter, the altitude that you want the autopilot to follow, uh, also setting the barometric pressure, and the bottom knob is the heading that you can set for the autopilot. Those functions are all in the glass panel display, but uh, this makes them a little more convenient and I'll have to do some switching around to get to them. In the, uh, in the center, is the uh, the little white square there to the right of the main screen is the display and controls for the radio and to the right of it is the uh, intercom. Below those two modules there's a compass that wasn't there before and is now and below that the existing controls for the nose gear, the landing brake, and down at the bottom, the throttle. Uh, 